here. Hey, Angela, hello. How are you? Happy Friday the 13th. How's everybody doing? Angela, the storm's all out of there now. Everything's safe. Hey, happy the 13th. This week went by way too slow, I think. How's everybody doing? Welcome to the uh, welcome to the show. Hope everybody's doing all right. Good, Angela. We may get that. Uh, they keep shifting that track to the to the left. We may get that tropical storm. And I just hope it's not going to be another Sally. 100, 100 mile an hour winds for 11 hours. It's crazy. So. Yeah, there's storms. I was looking at the news today. There's storms pretty much everywhere, flooding everywhere. Um, the, the global warming thing, I think, is probably coming to, coming to real. Yeah, Angela, it's just you and me. It's how it always starts. You and I, however you say it. And um, maybe it'll pick up. Bo should be here shortly. Bo's always here. That's that Marine in him. He's always, uh, Bo's always on time. And, uh, I got your, uh, or I got your Annabelle set up over there, Angela. So, I may just have to, uh, take that on a little road trip. Yeah, it always starts off slow, Angela. It, it, it does. And, um, I may do some more. It seems like when I was live streaming from my channel, it seemed to be uh, um, a lot of things uh, live streaming from my channel. So I may start doing that also and see. Yeah, you got that right, Angela. Everybody's out partying. I'm trying to have a drink. I'm just I'm tired, but I'm having a, I'm having a beer for this this whole evolution, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. That's why I like to. Uh, and, you know, last time we had a lot of people from overseas, so I was thinking of doing, like, these at 1 o'clock in the morning. Not some of the people from England and uh, Ireland do their, uh, come out and and do the live stream and everything. And, um, but it was pretty cool. And, um, Bo should be here shortly. And... I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe I did this uh, too soon. Maybe I should do them every other month. I don't know. Yeah, it is Friday. Yeah. Angela, you're like you're like you're like hardcore man. I can always count on you. You're amazing. You're always the one to comment on my the first one to comment on my channel. Always salute, young lady. That's for you. John, happy Friday the 13th. How are you? Welcome to our little our little party, our Friday the 13th party. How you doing? I hope I pronounced this, Johan. I hope I sh I really hope I pronounced that right. Give me a thumbs up if I did, man. <laughs> so we get a few people on, uh, a few more people. Um, Johan, you too, um, and Angela, since there's the three of us now, um, and I'll ask the question as more people come on board, what was your, uh, what, what if you, have you had any paranormal experiences, Angela, I think you have, and, uh, Johan, you too, oh man, Brushy Mountain, you were saying that last time, Kyle, what's up, man? God, Kyle, I miss you. Man, what's happening? Man. Man, I'm so glad you're here, Kyle. Man, I haven't seen you in forever. Man. Hey, everybody, this is Kyle Cobb, the author. This guy's amazing. 
man, that's really tickled you're here, man. Thank you, Kyle. I haven't talked to you in a long time. Man, that's awesome. Hope I was doing okay. Kyle, we got to catch up, man, at some point. Uh, I'll PM you sometime, see where you're going to be next. I think I'm going to be at the uh, the uh, Poly Jail with the Ray Chasers in October. I think that's my next gig with them, so I'd love to see you, man. Kyle, Kyle's good people. Hope you're doing okay, man. Yeah, Kyle, that, man, I, yeah, I, I'd love to see you again, man. You're good people. I still got some of your stuff. I got one of your, matter of fact, uh, um, for everybody knows Kyle, he was, he was glad to be with us. Um, this is one of his, uh, this is one of his books that he's a, he's an author and a demonologist. This guy has more stuff in his house from all over the world. And, uh, everybody, uh, this is Kyle right here. This is the stuff. He signed this for me at, uh, Moon River. So Kyle, thanks again, man. Love you, brother. Uh, hopefully we can, I keep this right here to show people and, uh, hopefully I can see you soon, brother. I'm so glad you're, you stopped by man on the, on this Friday the 13th. Good stuff, man. Daryl, I didn't think you were going to be here, man. I didn't, I didn't bring any guitar stuff out. I promised you that I would. Um, but I don't have anything. I'm surrounded with cameras right now. I, I don't have anything to... Uh, um, Daryl, I'm going to send you a link to my other channel where I do a, I do a solo. I do some guitar playing and some solos. And um, and I'll definitely do some, uh, do some playing for you. And uh, Yeah, Kyle, have you been okay, man? Everything going all right? I'm just having a cold one on this Friday the 13th, waiting for this potential tropical storm. Is that Jason? Jason, what's up, man? How are you, buddy? You guys still jamming? Yeah, buddy. Cheers, Jason. Welcome to it, man. I'll try to do these once a month. And uh, you see Kyle is here too, man. Jason, Kyle stopped by. And um, Jason, I got to get up and see you guys, man. I've been so busy. Just so busy with uh, investigating and stuff. Yeah, buddy. Hey, Jason. Daryl, if it's 9 p.m. Uh, Central or Florida, I may try to watch that. Um, I'm going to a show. I'm going to a metal show in Fort Walton tomorrow night. It is, Kyle. That it is. It, it's yeah. I'm trying to stay local, and uh, it is, Kyle. And I think it's getting worse, man. This this whole COVID thing is getting worse. We miss you too, man. So much. It's so much fun hunting with you. I really miss you, brother. Miss you, Kyle. Yeah, next Rhodes Hall. Uh, yeah, dude, he, Kyle's here with us, man. It's like, it's like, wow, having a Kyle in our in our group in our little house here, a little thing. Um, your band, Jason. Cherry, what's happening? How are you? Happy Friday the thirteenth. Yeah, Jason, I was talking about your band. Was it this Black Candle, wasn't it? Yeah, Kyle's here, man. Salute, brother. Wow, man, it just made my night. Yeah, Sir Kyle's right. Welcome, welcome, Kyle. Glad you're doing better. Jason, I'm going to some shows, uh, some metal bands in Fort Walton tomorrow, and uh, I'll try to send you a link. And... Uh, Daryl, I'm gonna try to make that that show. Well, I bet Kyle. Yeah, Kyle, I'd love to go. I, I wish I could have. I wish I could tag along with you, man, and, and just watch some of the stuff you do. I've seen some of the stuff around your house, uh, man, mind blowing. Wow. And um, I'm glad you're doing okay, though, man. I know a while back, I think you had a rough patch for a little bit, but I'm glad I'm glad you're doing better, man. And, um, like I said, this, this whole COVID thing's putting a damp on a lot of investigating. I'm, I'm just doing a lot of filming and local stuff around here. Um, you know, some haunted bars, haunted, haunted places like that, you know, and, and, uh, Carol, how are you? How's everything, Carol? 
Are you doing okay? Are things better a little bit? Yeah, Daryl, if I can, uh, if I can, if I can watch that live stream, I'm supposed to go to a show tomorrow night. But uh, PM me, man. That that stuff. I don't want to see. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna make this clear right now. Um, if any any of you people ghost hunting or you go on the the, the um, ghost hunt weekends and you get a chance to meet Kyle, it's worth the trip. That's an amazing gentleman right there, and um, that guy that guy is uh, amazing, amazing in the paranormal community. Great guy, man. I'm, I'm glad you stopped by, Kyle. Thank you, man. Love you, brother. Carol, is, it, is that better though? Good, good deal, good deal. Angela, if you're seeing stuff in your room, you need to start snapping your phone, take take pictures, Angela. Just take your cell phone. If you see something, start snapping pictures. Hey, Jason, thanks for stopping by, brother. Nice to, nice to see you again, man. Nice to talk to you. I definitely need to get back up to Atlanta, man. And if you've still got your little team, I think you had a little paranormal team um, if you're going to be doing that, Jason, I want to come up to Atlanta and ghost hunt with you guys. So, <laughs> take care, Jason. Cheers, brother. Yeah, Kyle, I didn't know. I, I didn't expect to, to see you tonight, man. I was I'm so tickled you stopped by. It's awesome, man. Like I said, we uh, they keep shifting that track to the to the left. Of, you know. So I'm sick of these hurricanes, man. I want to go to like Colorado or somewhere or, or some. I'm tired of these hurricanes in Florida. I'm sick of it. So, hey, Soul Age is paranormal. Awesome. I will, Jason. We need to get. We need to go back to uh, Westview Cemetery too. Bonnie, happy Friday the 13th. How are you? Welcome to the. Uh, welcome to the show, as we call it. And. Uh, Daryl, that's that's crazy, Daryl. Wow. I think that's crazy where you're at. I see some crazy stuff. Yeah, Carol. Last time I was talking to you, um, I know things were getting kind of. I, I said some prayers, and, I, and I'm glad. I'm glad everything's a little better at least. And uh, and cheers to you for for helping out and doing what you do. So. Happy Friday the 13th, Bonnie. Glad you're with us. Hey, I was kind of asking everybody, um, Bonnie, if you're you're here too, um, have you had any paranormal experiences, Bonnie? I kind of want to know. You're welcome, Bonnie. I try to do these once a month and try to get uh, try to get people on board. Try to try to uh, ask some uh, paranormal questions, or if you guys have questions for me, um, like I was talking to Kyle, you know, this this COVID's putting a damper on everything. I'm I'm scared to even travel. I do it anyway, but I still wear my mask and 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 and, uh, and uh, you go to the gas pumps. I put all the uh, the spray on and everything. So, hey Bonnie, you know, if you uh, yeah, Bonnie, you could have something there. You, you feel cold air. If there's no ceiling fans, you can try to debunk it. But if you're in a still room and you're feeling cold air and there's no air conditioner or fans or anything, Bonnie, you could have something. And like I tell Angela, take pictures. And always take more than one. Take take two or three pictures, always. And... Uh, Thanks, Daryl. I'm going to send you a link to my other channel. I do a complete blistering solo, a metal solo, on my other channel. I have another one called Autumn Tribe, and I have another channel called Sean Daniel, which is about plants and stuff. I have three YouTube channels. This is the one I, I hang my hat with, this here. And, um, and Daryl, I got some guitars downstairs. Uh, I'll try to... Uh, Yeah, Johan, <clears throat> you're right, and I hope I'm saying your name right, Johan. Sounds Norwegian. Um, 
yeah, cold air is not negative, but if you get hot air, um, yeah, Bonnie, then it, you definitely could have something there. But like Johan was saying, if you get, if you have a lot of, if you have hot air around you, um, that could be, you know, Kyle would know more about this. Um, he's a demonologist. Uh, Kyle would probably know. But if you have any kind of hot air, that could be something more. Nicole, hello. Nicole Stroud, welcome welcome to the Friday the 13th uh, Cervases and uh, Ghost Talk. Welcome to it. How are you? And, uh, yeah, and always take, uh, Daryl, I had that Purple Rain album somewhere. Here you go, Daryl. This is for you, buddy. There it is. That's for you, Daryl. I pull this out every time you're on a, you're on my live stream. Always, this is for you. Where else can you get this at Cracker Barrel? Through through the veil paranormal. Hey, um, Nicole, send me PM me that uh, through the veil. I've heard of that, and there's so many groups that I deal with. Um, sometime tonight or tomorrow, if you have a YouTube group or, or Facebook or anything, I can follow Nicole. Uh, send that to me, PM me sometime this weekend and I will subscribe or, or do whatever Bonnie I got that it's funny I got that purple rain album at a, at a freaking cracker barrel while we're waiting for a restaurant at a, at a steak restaurant in Mobile I walk around the, the cracker barrel in outside or inside the store and they have the candles and all the crazy shit and I got some freaking uh... yeah Johan take care wait it's storm it was storming everywhere um, I'm going to be on for about another 45 minutes. Uh, thank you, Johan, and, I, and I, hope, I hope I said your name right. And, uh, and uh, prayers. I hope it doesn't get too bad. We may have a tropical storm at the end of the week. Hopefully not a hurricane, but I'm used to it. Thanks, Nicole. It's, a, it's actually a picture disc. Um, it actually plays, and you can see over my shoulder here, Nicole, that's about 1,000 albums right there. That's about a thousand records I've been collecting since the 80s. Yeah, and I think Angela Angela had some nasty storms today too. Thanks, Bonnie. My my uh, my little room studio is like a museum. You see my little haunted dolls. I set those out for Angela. There's the creepy dolls. There's Annabelle. Some candles. Some creepy mirrors. And um, yeah, this room's like a freaking museum. And I keep my ghost hunting cameras. You know. I keep that baby right there. I take that, take that meat with me wherever I go. And uh, yeah, Nicole, I've been collecting since the '80s, uh, mostly metal and some blues. And I gutted these closets right here. You can't see them right now. I can't unmute the camera, but I gutted out my closets because um, this, what you're seeing is, is resets back. And um, I, I have vinyl in the closets too. And uh, <laughs> yeah, Nicole, he's got some crazy dolls. That chair in the back. Nicole is a 18th century North Face chair from the Black Force of Germany. It's 18th century. I paid $250 for it. You can see the face on it. I'll bring it up closer. And I did a full review on it on my channel, Nicole. Uh, I got it from an antique store. And what I'll do, uh, Nicole, my, my channel is Gulf Coast and Beyond, youtube.com, Gulf Coast and Beyond, all one word. I did a full review of that chair. A couple of Ouija boards and some stuff I got at antique stores that made me sick. I got into some stuff. I got into some uh, some really creepy antique store stuff and I got sick. And uh, Angela, the skull is uh, somewhere. I put this little display up just for everybody. Um, the skull is in all the way in the back. Angela, right there. It's, I think that's one of them. But I don't know where the other one is. Yeah, the chair is fairly heavy, uh, Nicole. It's from um, it's from the Black Forest, and I, I had to have it. It's got an actual face on it, and if you look, um, you go to the channel because I don't want to drag it up here. But the sides of the chair will have these faces that are screaming. Looks like they're yelling, and it's supposed to ward off, I think, demons or something. But if you go to my channel, and it'll, it'll say antique store overload or something, and there's that chair, and I got some other stuff. And I, hey, Nicole, I had a, a thunderstorm come through a little while ago. Uh, a couple of years, you know, last year, and yeah, I got some creepy mirrors. Um, yeah, I got some 18th century mirrors. That one's too heavy to pull down. Um, you can see the one behind me right there. 
That's 18th century, that little small one. That's 18th century. You see where my finger is? That little, that little mirror right there. That's 18th century. And um, we had a thunderstorm. Yes, Carol, I bought, I bought the, bought, I have two or three 18th century mirrors. I've been on this antique kick. And what had happened was um, we had a thunderstorm. I sleep. There's a bed. You can't see it. It's behind Annabelle. There's a little bed there I sleep in. When a thunderstorm came, I heard that chair slide across the floor a little bit. And then the, the th thunderstorm came, another lightning bolt came, thunder came, the chair slid even more, and my heart was pounding. Man, I woke up and I was like, Whew. so, I, I, I mean, I don't think it's haunted, but it's called the North Face chair. And um, I got enough creepy shit in this room to, you know, it's like I'm almost asking for it. Annabelle dolls and uh, wait till Halloween, I got the big Annabelle doll going to come out, you know. Yeah, Nicole, I, uh, I, it's also on my channel, um, Antique Store Overload. I, I have a German World War II knife that, from combat. They, they say it may have killed somebody. The, the, the Germans used it, and I got that knife, and I got some other stuff. I got home, and I was physically sick. I, I, was, I was enamored or just, just blown away by all this antique stuff. And um, it, all the antique stuff just... Uh, you know, I don't know what you mean. You can you can differ with that thought. I don't know, but uh, you know, yeah, I don't have any Chucky stuff, Daryl. I need to get I need to get some. But that was cool. Uh, everybody, Kyle was here, and uh, like I said, if you uh, think you can go on Amazon, you know, Kyle, this is Demons and uh, and and Haunted Destinations, and Kyle Kyle wrote this, and um, it was very cool for him to stop by. That just made my day. So. Kyle Cobb, you ever get a chance to meet this guy, do it. But yeah, I had, uh, I got too much uh, stuff, too much antique stuff, Nicole, and it was, uh, it was getting to me, it was getting to me bad. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, Nicole, I think you're right. I think it is. Um, there's something about it. That's why I bought it. Um, you, I have a more, like I said on my videos, I have a more up close to it. Um, I walked in the antique store. I had to have it. So it's uh, it's 200 years old. Angela, as, as far as uh, the worst place I've been to, probably the Poly Jail. Um, a lot of heaviness, um, a lot of a lot of uh, bad things happened in that jail, and um, creepy, um, just all kinds of creepy stuff happened. Um, I, I don't I'm that jail, something else, man. Full body apparitions, cold spots, K2 hits, EMF hits. Yeah, Nicole, uh, just browse the channel. Um, there's almost 200 videos on my channel, but you, it's the first few. Just look for anything that says antique or uh, creepy stuff I've collected, but there is an antique store, uh, Nicole, that it says it's antique store activity, it has an 18th century gargoyle chandelier. It's an actual freaking gargoyle. And, um, you know, uh, Carol, not many asylums um, per se. St. Albans Sanatorium. Is St. St. Albans was is you know it's a hospital, but asylum if that's the kind of thing. Really only St. Albans. Um, no, Nicole Moundsville. Uh, there's so many places I want to go. You know Moundsville, uh, Ohio State. Uh, there's there's tons, and I just got to, yeah yeah I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to hit one of those stores there, Angela. There's there's a good one up there, where you're at. Um, but yeah, Nicole, I'm, because I'm here in the South, I got New Orleans, Alabama. I'm staying in these haunted air, uh, bed and breakfasts. I've got uh, all kinds of stuff going on. And uh, yeah, Ohio State is nuts. I think uh, Trans Allegheny, yeah. And you know, I kind of want to go to um, uh, the Tuberculosis Hospital. God, I can't think of it. Shadows, play Shadows. Daryl, I'm not sure what you're talking about, man. But I'll have a drink of beer and think about it. Shadows. Yeah, Nicole. Um, there's a lot of stuff in Ohio. I got a good friend from Ohio, and there's there's a, I think there's a crybaby bridge up there. There's um, 
all kinds of haunted places. And um, and because of this whole COVID, it's, it's getting harder and harder to travel. But um, down here in the south, man, in Louisiana, I've got these haunted plantations. I've got uh, um, uh, Myrtle's Plantation. I plan on going there. Um, Mobile, Alabama, uh, cemeteries, uh, old cemeteries. Things are just, uh, things are nuts. And uh, But I'd love to get up there to get those big, big, um, you know, those those freaking uh those old hospitals and asylums man are just full of energy full of of just crazy stuff man it's it's nuts and uh there i'm not sure what you're talking about play shadows yeah nicole i'm not a um i think what i mean is i'm not a uh i'm not doing a lot of ghost hunting in cemeteries um i i think a lot of the new investigators coming out they, they tend to go to cemeteries and try to, you know, rustle up stuff or whatever. And, and I'm okay with that. Um, I try not to disturb. But what I do do, what I do also, is I go in the cemetery at night and take this bad boy right here. This is my full spectrum rig, a uh, gnat. And, and this will light up the darkness in, in almost like a purple. And this is, this is what, uh, you know, uh, you, you'll see all kinds of stuff with this so you, you walk around a cemetery you can call them investigating the cemetery but you walk around with enough video and you walk around with voice recorders or whatever you're going to pick up something there's no question and this is my this is my go-to right here this is for uh for, for lights out stuff so i keep right there on my desk so and it's really and they call it really uh that's really not a uh, expensive rig at all it's just uh yeah daryl you said you were going to go to this to some caves or something um, and you said those caves were haunted. Hey, man, I'm telling you right now, there's some. Uh, yeah, Angela, if the cemeteries, if if you know, like Nicole's saying, if if they if you can get into a cemetery at night, because people that have, people that people that abandon, I mean, people that abandon cemeteries, but people that uh, abuse cemeteries and and vandalize cemeteries is what ruins it for all of us, man. We just want to go out and just and just document and just see what see what's there you know and um and i, I there's cemeteries around here in, in northern florida i'm gonna go and you use your you use these and you ask a question even with your phone you can walk around ask a question and you'd be surprised you get a voice almost all the time so on video recorders it's a two thing so you run your video i'm getting more evps on my video recorders just filming. I hear have a voice jump jump on and say, I'm here. Or let's go. I get that all the time. So voice recorders and everything like that. Yeah, and, and I and, and Nicole, we need more people like that to uh to to do that, to clean up the cemeteries and uh and make it make it better for people like us that want to go in and, and go do some filming. Or do some walking around. Um, there's some places here in Pensacola. There's no gates. There's no nothing. I'm going to go. You know. Nicole, did you get anything? I'll have to check your channel out and see. But especially children's graves. If you take lights and toys, you're probably going to get something really cool. I, I would think. I'd like to see if you got any evidence that night, Nicole. Thanks, Angela. I'm uh, I try. Uh, being being at my age, you tend to collect a lot of gear and have more gear than you need. But uh, and Nicole, I'm a solo ghost hunter. Angela knows that. I'm I'm pretty much solo. I let my gear do the work for me, but not in all places. Um, not in uh, asylums and big giant buildings. Um, St. Albans, I'd never go in there by myself. No freaking way. No way. Wow. No kidding. It's Christmas. You got a... Was that an EVP or a... Uh, the spirit box? Yeah, Angela, I don't know if anybody else knew that. I was just letting everybody know I'm solo. Um... Yeah, and three is a perfect number. 
three is a perfect number for ghost hunting. Um, and, and much respect to all the teams. I see, uh, I see teams of 15 or 20, and and I, you know, I don't, I don't know why. Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I guess that's good, but you get a, you stay in a small bed and breakfast or a place that's really haunted, and you got all these people, and so yeah, I think three is perfect. Nicole, I think three is perfect. You know, Dominic, what's up, man? Oh man, what's happening, dude? Hey, Dominic's here. Dominic, um, if you can, I, I, there's not really a whole lot of people here right now, but if you can, um, post your uh, post your group, man, if you don't mind. The BBB3, I think it is. I'd like to, uh, we may have people later, but happy Friday, Dominic. Are you doing all right, brother? Thanks for the thing the other night, man. That was, uh, that was freaking awesome. Dominic's got a great uh, podcast, everybody. This is, it's freaking amazing. This guy's really incredible. And uh, happy Friday, Dom. I hope to go hunt with you soon, brother. Yeah, BB3TV. Um, everybody, if you see that, uh, Dominic's got a great program, man. And as a matter of fact, there was one on today, and I was on the road. I didn't get to see it. But uh, check out that, Nicole and everybody. Daryl, check out that BB3TV. Uh, Dominic's got a really good show. Very, very entertaining. A lot of good stuff going on. Nicole, you, you'll be impressed. He's uh, he's good people. Dominic's good. Good people. Cheers, Dominic. Hope you're doing good, brother. Until we hunt, man. And when you get settled in uh, where you're going, I'll, I'll make the trip. Damn sure make the trip. And I'll be on your show anytime. Yeah, Dom, you're good people, man. I, I, I'm grateful for you, me being on your show, brother. That was really cool. Daryl, you'll like it, man. He gets some amazing people on his, uh, cheers, Dominic. He gets some good people on his show. Yeah, you won't be let down. Um, he's, he's got, he's always got his hands in something, man. He's got people on there. He's got some, he's got some very talented people on there and, uh, some mediums and, uh, different groups. And, uh, it's, I, I could watch that stuff for hours, man. He's got a really, really good show. Probably one of the best ones that I've seen. Yeah, Angela, that's the, um, the full spectrum, and I, I don't know, uh, except for what you've seen on my channel. Yeah, the colors. Uh, it's hard. It's hard to find for the full spectrum. Yeah, Nicole. Through the veil, paranormal. Is that also a Facebook uh, group, Nicole? Or is that a channel, or is that just a, a Facebook thing, or what? Yeah, Angela, sometimes it's it's hard for things to hide from full spectrum. That's kind of why I use it. Um, I like regular night vision. Full spectrum seems to have that... Uh, it's something about the that purple color. Just not much can hide from it. You get a lot of shadow people. I think your full-bodied apparitions are going to be in um, full spectrum. Pretty sure. Nicole, what kind of uh, equipment do y'all use? Oh, good. Good deal. Yeah, I'm on Twitter and... Um, uh, Instagram, I'm almost at 5,000 on Facebook, so that's going to be, uh, Facebook's ridiculous for having 5,000, it's stupid, that's their stupid rules, but I got Twitter and, uh, I think it's at, at, at Sean Daniel or SJ Daniel or something, I don't know, but I'll check, uh, Nicole, I'll check all your stuff out, and, uh, I got a website also, Suncoast Paranormal, it's pretty much a mirror of my, my, uh, my YouTube channel, but I do have a website also. Yeah, Dom, uh, I got to check out. I know you had what you were on today. I had something flash on my phone when I was eating, and I had to get back on the road. But I understand you had something, and, and that, that was cool, man. It's like you always got something going on. Cheers, everybody. A necropod. I'm not sure what that means. Is that like a rim pod? Like um, here's a here's a uh, 
here's a Wrath Chaser pod that I got from the, the Tennessee Ray Chaser signed it for me. Doogie and and uh, Mike G and all them signed it, and that's uh, pretty cool. Um, getting a little dusty, but this thing is uh is a rim pod also, and you know, and it. Anyway, that's that. And I got two of them. I got this one, and I got one that uh, got one that glows in the dark. And uh, I think I have um, I think I have three of these, two or three of these. So oh wow, Dom, it keep me posted on that, man. Hey, Dom. Uh, Keep me in the loop. What's going on, man? Be safe. Have a safe trip, man. Wow, I'm excited, Dom. You up, man? You got, you got, always got something going on, dude. You're very talented, brother. Clubs in the dark, Daryl. I'm not, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Daryl, you're in the UK, right? Am I, am I right? If I recall right. And the Necropod Nicole says 30,000 words, just bits, just scans. No words should come out. Yeah, yeah, Dom's got some Dom's got some amazing stuff. He's he's on the move, man. You gotta keep an eye on his stuff. He's really cool. Guy's got really good radio personality, or not I'm not radio, but you know what I mean. Really good blog personality, podcast personality. He's good good people, man. Dom's a good guy. I was just on his, uh, just on his show, man, and I was nervous as shit, man. But they they make you feel kind of relaxed. But I was nervous, man. So, what time is it there, Daryl? It was almost breakfast last time. Uh, last time we were on this. Don, thank you, man. Thanks for stopping by. Um, yeah, give me a text. Uh, we're going to a show tomorrow night, a metal show down in Fort Walton. And, um, but I will get back with you for sure. And, uh, be safe, Don. Keep in touch, man. Thanks for stopping over. Love your work. Keep it up, man. Cheers, brother. It's 2 a.m. Damn, there will be time for breakfast, man. <laughs> Nicole, I've had my channel for, I don't know, seven years, something like that. And um, I put all, my channel is based on, and everybody knows it, uh, it's based on evidence. So if I if I have an hour and a half of a shooting video, all I put in is the evidence. And I do a lot of filming in cemeteries. Angela knows this. She's always, she, Angela's always on my channel. I, do, I film in a lot of cemetery, cemeteries. I put cinematic music over it. Uh, I do intros and I do outros and I say thanks for watching and uh, I'm almost at 6,000, a little over 6,000 subscribers and uh, a lot of them are for overseas but uh, I'm really getting into filming and uh, I do like ghost hunting but when I'm not ghost hunting I'm filming, doing uh, documentaries and uh, documentaries, documentaries, yeah and uh, well be safe Nicole, yeah I just have, uh, I just have one and it's, it's called ghost ghost talk with a beer so i tell everybody have a have a beverage of your choice doesn't have to be alcoholic and that's that's what we do yeah i mean look look nicole if your channel is good and it and obviously it is you got 1186 subscribers if it's good then 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 it'll keep growing and what i like about youtube is is there's no limits there's no there's no caps there's no there's nothing and it's very very competitive so i i'm always out uh trying to um go to places where nobody's been and i have a few things up my sleeve and uh angela you know i always have a drink for you i got you got you and uh but yeah nicole it's it's uh try to get off the beaten path think outside the box the paranormal box they say and i try to do things different and when you get that solid EVP or you get that, uh, you know, and, and I don't know, Nicole, if you ever got a full body apparition, I've only got two in my, in my 10 years. And, uh, and that, that's absolutely amazing. 
And I and, and Nicole, if y'all take pictures, I'm sure you know always take two. Always take two or three. So when you're shooting, you know, if your phone or whatever you're using, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. You probably already know that. I learned that from Mike G and the Ray Chasers, the Tennessee Ray Chasers. They, uh, they, I know those guys. They, they taught me a lot of stuff. And, uh, and like I said, when I'm not, when I'm not ghost hunting, I'm filming. I'm filming around cemeteries. I'm walking through old buildings. I'm doing uh, urban exploring. You know. Well, <laughs> I haven't been to Bobby Mackey's, but I hear that tunnel is creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, salute Nicole. That's crazy, man. That's uh, I don't know. I'm not sure I would even do that. that, that I mean, that was my gear. I don't know if I'd try to go in there, but I hear Bobby Mackey's up. It's like a portal to hell or something. So, salute, man. That was awesome. That's crazy. And Angela's trying to learn how to ghost hunt too. And I, I've got some, I got some cameras and stuff. I'm gonna be sending her and uh, show her how to use them. And uh, cheers, Nicole. How's the weather up there, Nicole? Did you say it was starting to storm? We've been getting these over here in Florida, man, in Pensacola, man. We've been getting these, uh, we've been getting these crazy, um, these crazy uh, clouds like I've never seen before. These big white clouds look like they're coming out of the horizon, man. It's crazy. I work out at the air station and I, I started taking pictures. Yeah, Nicole, I think uh, I'm pretty convinced that uh, this whole this whole planet's going through some kind of changes. I'm pretty sure it is. Unfortunately, they said that it's getting hotter, and I know we're kind of getting off the subject here, but you know, it's getting hotter, and uh, um, things are things are happening. The storms are getting more intense. We got two two or three tropical storms, whatever. Looks like they're all heading to Florida. So we, we've never knock on wood. We've never had any damage here, even with uh, not putting up shutters. We, we, uh, oh, thanks. That's my Punisher hat. But I still love the Gulf Coast. Uh, my dad has a boat. We take it out and the dolphins, and I love the salt life. I love, I love Florida. I always have. And, um, and this is probably where I'm, I'm going to retire unless I, unless I want to go over to Costa Rica or go to the tropics. I, I, I love the, I love, uh, I love Belize and these these third not third world countries, but I you know we took a cruise over there and I just fell in love with Belize and that salt that fresh air and the palm trees and stuff. I just I'm a sucker for it, man. So yeah, yeah, 103 in Ohio. Yeah, you think it'd be cooler? We were in Vegas a couple months ago and it's 115 in the shade, and uh, we went to Zach's museum and some places inside of his museum were there was no AC. It was hot, and uh, yeah. It's, it's hot everywhere. Angela, I know it's hot where you're at. And it's it's hot here in Florida. I think they said it's going to be 108. And those storms, freaking hurricanes and stuff, they feed off that they feed off that hot water, man, that stuff. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You go to uh you get you go to that that salt, there's something about the salt there is cool and it's refreshing. I still need to, I mean, go to the beach or something. Sometimes it's too hot to even go to the beach here. It's the sand, the sand will burn your feet sometimes, and it's crazy. But, uh, yeah, if, if it, sometimes the, the thunderstorms will cool it off a little bit. But uh, leaving the base today, I saw some more, I saw more crazy sh clouds that I've, I've never seen before. I took pictures. It's crazy. It's freaking nuts. But, uh. Thanks everybody for stopping by. Not not really a big crowd, but I kind of like it because I can actually talk to everybody when there's a lot of people. I can't keep up with the conversation. I haven't learned how to do that yet, but uh, thank you all for for hanging out with me on a, on a Friday night, you know. And uh, yeah, Nicole, I don't <laughs> I don't blame you, man. Um, we had tornadoes here about uh, about five six years ago. We had tornadoes come through Pensacola and it leveled houses. And uh, yeah, Terrell, no kidding, man. He cook eggs and bacon on the beach. No shit, man. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, Nicole, I'll, I'll take a hurricane over a tornado any day. Tornadoes are very unforgiving, very powerful. Just rip, just plucks houses right off the foundations. And uh, I'll take a hurricane any day, man. You can shut her up, listen to stuff hit the house. You can listen to that wind pick up. 
nine, nine times out of ten, if you got the trees, we got one tree that I got to take down. I'm kind of hoping I can get to it. But uh, other than that, you'll be fine. Yeah, it's going to be hot again this weekend. We're going to a show tomorrow night in Fort Walton, and uh, that's on the beach though, and it should be should be a little cooler. I can't wait for. Uh, yeah, it would be Nicole. It would be nice, but if it was in the 40s and uh, and I, I kind of can't wait for October, that first cool spell. I kind of can't wait. Halloween is my time. Jamie, my brother is here. What's happening, man? Jamie, are you in Spain or are you here? This is my brother, everybody, Jamie. What's happening, man? We're doing uh, paranormal talk, but then it kind of turned into weather. So, Jamie, are you, are, where are you at, man? Are you are you far away? <laughs> How are you? Yeah, Nicole, October is my uh, October is, is my that's my shit, man. That's when it starts to get cool. That's what I'm talking about. That first call the fair weather. Whenever it. Uh... Nats, Nats. Yeah, my brother popped in and uh, I don't talk to him as much as I like to, but he's uh. He's, he's former Navy. He's also Navy. We're all Navy. Um, he's retired now. I got a little bit to go yet. But, uh, yeah, Jamie's in Spain. There you are. Jamie, what time is it there, man? Is it afternoon? Morning? I got to get over and see you, man. I know there's a lot of, a lot of haunted stuff over in, uh, over in Spain. Yeah, Nicole. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, see, that's what we're talking about. It's hot here too, man. It's freaking ridiculous. You've been here, Jamie. You've been to Florida. You know how it is. It's freaking hot, man. Jamie, there's some haunted. There's some. There's some creepy shit over there, right, Jamie? I know you're in Spain. There's all kinds of these big churches and uh, big churches and things like that over in Spain, man. I've been there. That's it's nuts. And uh, uh, three in the morning. <laughs> What are you doing, man? You just getting up? Just uh, are you you hanging up partying or what, man? These guys, man, come on, freaking things. Yeah, yeah, my uh, yeah, I've been to Spain a couple times, and that it, it, that place is just mind blowing, and uh. Hey Jamie, you find out the, you give me some places to go, man. I'll come and uh, <laughs> you just going to bed. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in, man. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. I'm having a beer for now, and then I get into the whiskey later. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding, Nicole. Yeah, Jamie, I'll uh, let me know when you're coming back, man. Give me enough heads up so I can take some vacation, and and we'll go. Uh, We'll go, uh, uh, and maybe one time I'll come out there. I'd love to bring some gear out, man. Let's go find some, uh, let's go find some haunted taverns and some haunted, uh, some haunted places, man. Let's go do that. Damn, I can't believe it's that hot, man. Dude, it's a, it was 100 here in Pensacola. Thunderstorms. Everybody on this thread right now has had some kind of storm today, or hot. <laughs> Get some rest, Jamie. <laughs> Fire water, Nicole. I don't even know what that's. That just sounds cool. That just sounds awesome. Fire water. Yeah, Jamie. I'll check on flights, man. You you find you you find some haunted places, but uh, you better be ready to roll. Don't be scared, man. We'll go. Uh, we'll get some gear. We'll go. We'll do some hunting. Plan on it. Yeah, you don't have as much humidity there. That's true. Humidity here in Pensacola is absolutely miserable. God, it's miserable. Wasn't in Las Vegas, though. 115, but there was no humidity. Very little humidity. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I'll look right. Yeah, water fight sounds good. They're all to cool everything down. Sounds stupid. Sometimes... That poly jail was so ridiculously hot, man. I, I, I'm surprised my equipment didn't fail. My cameras and stuff. Actually, my, one of my cameras did fail. Yeah, Nicole, I'd, I'd love to. 
I'd love to. There's a uh, there's a few teams that that they they keep inviting me and I and I can't. I got to travel, but uh, uh, I would love to, Nicole. I'd love to come up and uh and, and hunt with you guys, or the three of y'all. I'd love to. Cool, Jamie. That's my birthday, man. Um, I think the f the first week in the first week of September at that weekend I'm gonna be gone. Other than that, I should be home the rest of the month. Yeah, Nicole, it, it, it is, and I, I honestly think um, I had this camera here. Uh, my flash card didn't write, and, I, and it might have been because it was so humid. This is my GoPro, and uh, I was pissed off. I lost I lost a whole bunch of data, a whole bunch of video, and uh, it might have been because of the heat. And there's no power. I prefer no power when there's ghost hunting. And, uh, yeah, Jamie, that's right around my birthday. Yeah. Hey, PM me about a week or two before you come in. Let me know, man. We'll go grab a beer or go out, go out to eat or something. I, I always, I don't know when family comes in town until it's too late, and then I'm either gone or doing something. So I'll make sure I'm around. So Nicole, where is this uh, Bel Air house at? I'm supposed to be going to the haunted uh, hill house with uh, paranormal. Haunted Hill House, and then there's a, there's a, there's two other places locally that I'm going. I love staying in haunted bed and breakfasts, man. That's my that's my thing. I love I love camping out in the weekend and bed and breakfast and just running cameras all night. Take care, Jamie. I love you, brother. Get some sleep, man. I'm jealous you're in Spain and I'm not. When um, Nicole, when is the uh, when is that hunt going on? When, when do you think it is? The Bel Air House. Oh, cool. <laughs> All the kids watch my channel. I try to keep it kid-friendly. It's not too terrifying, but I love doing the, the cinematic stuff. So, yeah, Jamie, I work hard on that channel, man. And sometimes it consumes me. It's just constant editing videos and editing and editing and it's nuts, but I think it's it's paying off a little bit. So, hey Nicole, hey Nicole, it's very possible. October is very possible. Um, the first week of October, the second to the thing, I'm going to be at the Tennessee Race Chasers at the Green Cove Springs Jail. Um, other than that, I should have October somewhat open. We'll see. My son may be coming in town, but. Uh, PM me the date, Nicole, when you get it uh, solid. Let me know. The Hammond House. I don't. I don't recall, Nicole. I don't. There's um. Yeah, Nicole. I've hunted with the Ray Chasers uh, many, many times. Uh, I'm, I'm good friends with Chris and Mike and them. And. Um, there's some uh, haunted bed and breakfasts right here, the Funiac Springs Hotel. Uh, I caught a full portal. I got a full portal in there, stars and stuff, and looks like something swirling. It's crazy. And there's a lot of bed and breakfasts right here in Pensacola that I stayed. And I got something that flew out by, past my camera, just flew up in the air like a like a. It was nuts. That's on my channel too. Matter of fact, Nicole, it's on my main page. It says uh, the, um, uh, the the house tour ghost hunt. And it's it's the it's it's in Pensacola. It's on my main it's on the main the main thing there. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's a it's looks like a little storybook house with little little cone shaped things and stuff. And I stayed the night there and ran every camera that I had and it was it did not disappoint. Man, it's uh, it's beautiful, beautiful stuff. So, Jamie, thanks for stopping by, man. Thanks for stopping over. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up in about about six minutes. I try to keep it to a, about an hour, but. Uh, Foreman's. Um, no, Nicole, I don't think so. Foreman's. Josh, I bet you if I see a picture of them, I, I bet you I know who they are. Um, <laughs> man, I tell you what, if I was yanked out of bed, it, no, no. If I was yanked out of bed, that, that'd probably be it for me. I'd be in my car heading home. That's crazy. Some of these 18, uh, these 18th century houses, 
uh, have a lot of uh, have a lot of um, emotions and things. And uh, yeah, I, I, Nicole, I think I have heard of that. Josh, Rocky, and Sean. I think I, you know what? I think I have Nicole. I think I have heard of it. I have. So. But anyway, I'm going to I'm going to wrap this up. Uh Nicole, it was nice talking to you. I think it's just you and I left now. But um I try to do this once a month and try to uh, get some uh get some feedback from uh, from everybody so now I know about your group and everything. Yeah. And they're called Paranormal Nightmare. That's your series. Yeah, you are here, Angela. I thought everybody left. So but uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, it's just us three left. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, hey, Nicole was great. Uh, have a great weekend. Happy Friday the 13th again. Thanks for stopping over. Um, I'll check your channel out. And uh, I'm going to wrap this up. And it was cool. Got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. I thought, I thought Angela left. So she's still here. Angela's always, she, she never missed, uh, she never misses a live stream. She's, she's, she's a trooper. So, but, uh, take care, Nicole, Angela. Yeah. Yeah. And Nicole, uh, I'll, I'll look at yours too. Just, uh, when you get time, PM me the link to your Facebook or your uh, YouTube. We'll hit that subscribe button. And, uh, right on my main page is the, uh, the house. And uh, it's uh, it's beautiful. It's around Christmas time, and I walk through the inside and everything. And then the second part is the filming and ghost hunting. It's really cool. So, but anyway, you'll have a great night. Have a great weekend. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up and uh, take care. And I will uh, I'll probably do this again next month. And it was cool. My uh, my brother stopped in. That's pretty cool. And Kyle stopped in. Wow, that's crazy. And Dom stopped in. Wow, good stuff. So. Well, anyway, y'all take care, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Peace.